Greetings, Fire Chargers Dark Blade here. So in preparation for my learning Japanese with the Bible series, I will be going through some relatively basic kanji. In this video, we'll be checking out the first grade kanji. These are the ones that people learn in grade one. So these are like what people are learning at age six or seven in Japan. So you should already start learning kanji by the time you're seven years old. Please note that the part in the kun readings, the part after the hyphen is represented by okurigana. That isn't part of the kanji reading itself. It's part of a macro word that includes the kanji so let's but since i'm chinese i'll just use the on reading because that's what i'm used to because that's what's more similar to my normal encounter with these characters first one e it means one it's just the word for one in the in Japanese on it's ichi and go on. I think itsu is either kan on or to on. Next is two, which ni or ji in Chinese it's r. Keep in mind that whenever I say Chinese in this video I mean standard Chinese because I can't speak for any other variety. Three san that's quite simple. It's also that in Chinese. Now, xi is four in Chinese. It's si. Go is, go is five in Chinese. It's wu. Roku is six. That means liu. Xi qi. That's the word for the number seven. Also known as qi in Chinese, ha qi, that's eight, ba, ku or q is used for nine in the original, in Chinese it's jiu, by the way the q, I don't know if the q, I think these are two different readings I think, the q reading, reading might be more go on because it's more similar to the Korean reading. I think that the Q reading is preferred not only because it uh, appears to be a later borrowing, probably Kaon or Toon, which have largely replaced Go on readings, but also because Q sounds too much like the word for sup, a frame. Similarly, the alternative alternative of kun reading for the number four is used because the on reading c sounds similar to the word for death i mean number 10 is ju or shi in chinese i should just stop with the chinese ones because it'll make this take longer Hyaku is the character for 100 it does not mean 100 it just means 100 one hundred is ichi hyaku or is it ipyaku? I'm not sure. The I don't know the details of assimilation. So five hundred is it go hyaku or is it go byaku? I don't know. Japanese also has this thing called sequential voicing. So I think with the word for 800, the assimilation is actually mandatory. Thousand. This is Sen, which is... In fact, this character plays a prominent part in the Spirit of the Way film I hear. For example. And the word for 2000 is Nisen. Remember, this just means thousand. It does not mean one thousand. It's for any specific thousand. It's just thousand. And it's the same in Chinese. 
By the way, if you want to say 20, you would say 你居 or 二十 in Chinese. 13. 桌, which means top or above. It can also mean up or previous in Chinese. For example, 上桌, 上个星期四 means last Thursday. 下, I mean, ka or ge, which means bottom or below. It can also mean down, um, down or next in Chinese. For example, xia zi means next time. This is sa or zuo, which means left. This is u or yu, which means right. In Chinese, it's yo. Chu or ju, which means inside or middle. I don't know if there are actually two separate borrowings or it's this is just representing rendaku, but that would be weird if because they don't do it previously. Big or large is tai or dai. Small is shou. Moon or month can be gatsu or getsu. And yes, in Chinese, it can also mean both of those things. Day or sun is nichi or jitsu. And there are also the kun readings, hi or ka. This leads to an interesting case, nichiobi, which is the word for Sunday, in which this kanji this one no i want to grab this thing that's not what i want to do yeah i wanted to grab you this kanji appears twice in the same word but using different readings this is the word for year nen this is the word for early so or sa This is the word for tree, moku, or boku. I think the boku one is more of a old go on reading that's more similar to the Hokkien reading. I think you're more likely to encounter the this reading, which I think is kaon. You'll also see this as a radical with a lot of concepts that have to do with trees or wood. Next, rin. 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 Which means woods. In Chinese, I was taught that this was pronounced lin or something and meant forest and the one with three mu characters was sen and meant jungle. San, which means mountain. Sen, which means river. To or do, which means soil or earth in the context of Naruto. Sky is ku. I think that in Chinese, this character means empty. Then there's den for field. Ten for heaven or sky. Though the, there's se or sho for living, birth, or rock. Oh, so that's what the sheng character means. There's ka for flower. So for grass. Chu for insect. Ken for dog. Jin or nin for person. By the way, these, the own readings, you're most likely to encounter them when there's multiple kanji together in a word. If it's like the kanji is the, if it's like one individual kanji, that's the entirety of the word. Or if it's like kanji and okurigana packaged together in a word, then it, 
and it's probably going to be the Kun readings. Then again, the Kun readings are also used in many Japanese proper nouns. Next, the word for name is mei or myo, and this character, it can also be read as na in the kun that is the native Japanese reading, and the word for front is mai, so na mai is just a compound of these two elements. It does not, it's not etymologically related to the English word name, and they don't even sound that much similar. Next is jo or nyo, which means female. You also see this character as a radical for concepts that involve femininity. Dan or nan, in Chinese this is also pronounced nan, for male. The otoko as its own word means man, and onna means woman. Si or su or z in Chinese means child. I moku. This is the character mu mu. Here you see me. There's another character that means I, and it's more complex. It's pronounced yan in Chinese or gan in on Japanese reading. Next there's ji or ni. That means ear. These are all quite based. Most of these have been quite. Ko, which means mouth. This is a rather simple term. I don't know about Japanese, but in Chinese, there's a much more complex and technical term for mouth. That's zui ba. I won't even pretend to know how to write that. Shu for hand. Soku for foot or suffice. So I think the ashi is for the foot and the ta-riru is for the suffice meaning. I'm reading from the kun section in that case. Si, ken, or gen. Though the actual word si is niru because verbs that use okurigana use the, what's it called, the kun reading because you on and urkiana sound on or oto power riki or ryoku next spirit or air ki or ke it's also iki it's interesting how similar these are Next, the character for yen or circle, it's en or maru. There's also another character, maru, that means circle. It's common, appears like in the last character of various Japanese names. Next, enter new. Hmm. Exit is shutsu. I think deru refers to the verb exit and shutsu you would encounter more with the i mean noun exit i think it's a, it might be a similar case with the enter next stand up ritsu or tatsu rest q Previous, sen, evening, seki. Oh, this is an interesting. Here, the it's the kun reading that has a long vowel. Book, hon. I think moto has more to deal with origins or something. Then again, by the way, this character, ben, can also mean origins. Next is text, which is a bun or mon. I think the bun sense, I think the bun reading might be a go on, more Hokkien like. 
Next is character G or Aza. Next is the word for study. This can also mean learn. Gaku. The kun reading is manabu. If you want to see this play out in real time, if you want to see a real example of this playing out, watch Erased. I know I said a real example, then cited a work of fiction. That's weird. Next, ko, which means school, or kase. In fact, if you put num the characters number 61 and 62 together, you get gakko, which literally means school, or as we say in Chinese, xie xiao. Seven, mura, which means village. Oh, the own reading is son. So I am just so used to seeing the... I'm, I'm not used to this. Town, which is cho or machi. I think there's another kanji that also means town and is read as machi, but that one's pronounced jie in Mandarin Chinese. Forest, xin or mori. This is the sen character I was talking about earlier. Correct. That's se shou. <laughs> Water, sui or mi. Fire, ka, jewel or ball. That's gyoku. King, o. I think that's the only form you'll encounter. I don't recall anyone ever using this form. Stone, seki or koku. Bamboo. Chiku, thread, she, selfish, I mean shellfish, by, kai, these are quite similar, vehicle, sha, gold or money, kin, rain, u, Red, seki, though I think you're almost universally more likely to encounter aka. Same with the rain section. Blue, se or sho. I think there are cases where you might encounter se, but I think ao is more likely. Then again, I don't know that much Japanese. White is haku. And that's all the first grade kanji.